Hello Taurus, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading. Okay, so um, this says there's a lot of uh, grown up activity going on for you guys. <laughs> but, for me, some of you guys, most of you guys, um, or the issue is just surrounding sexual activity. Alright, uh, but it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 9-24 through... 10 1 2017 the cards i am using today are oracle of the mermaid cards by lucy cavendish and i close out with my miss cleo cards i like to um, read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message i want to thank everybody for like share and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me if you would like a personal reading check in the description box below email me and we can set something up other than that let's get this show on the road so what's going on with the taurus Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What's going on with the Taurus? Okay, we got nine. You got love offers coming in. For what? We get nine, 24 through October 1st, 2017. Taurus. Nine, 24 through October 1st, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, Taurus, what you got for us? All right, so it seems like you might be receiving gifts or giving gifts to somebody. Or you feel like you received somebody as a gift or something. Wow, okay. Story change. So it seems like... um. You might be dealing with somebody who is um, giving you things. They're acting like everything is fine, but they're treating you like they don't want you. Okay? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Wow. Okay, so it seems like everything was going fine. This person was doing for you. And then all of a sudden, they start treating you like they don't want you. And now you're feeling like you want to leave because of it. I feel like nothing's good enough right now. All right, so um, this just could be a new relationship. They was treating you one way, and then now it's just like they start treating you a whole different way, and you're like, uh-uh, I don't have to deal with this. This is not what I signed up for. So this is basically saying that um, it's not looking good for this situation in the future, so it may um, not last much longer but it's saying it is fate like it's nothing you can do to stop this okay even if you wanted to and it seems like leaving is gonna have some kind of emotional healing for you like it's gonna make you feel better you know it's like this person is really bringing you down treating you like they're treating you or it could be the right uh, other way around but it's like now it's like I don't I don't want to deal with this anymore, you know? So you like I I think I want to get get away from this, you know? So it's like either you leave them or I mean it's going to happen no matter what. All right. All right, so for some of you this could be a job or you could be dealing with somebody at work. You know, or it could just be friends, you know? It could be it could be anybody, but you got a situation going on where it was a give and take at first. And then this person start treating you some different kind of way. So you like, okay, I gotta get away from this. I got, and then it's like it's something new. So you're not really too much attached to it. But whatever you do is gonna be better for the future. All right. All right. So yeah, this is gonna happen within the next uh, week or two. But it's slowly happening like they slowly started treating you different and you still slowly starting to started feeling like you didn't want to be there anymore all right so let's see what we got in here yeah it seems like it's going to be a mutual understanding when this freedom does take a place all right what's going on for the Taurus 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 for the week of September 24th through October 1st, 2017. Love reading, love reading, love reading, love reading for Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay. 
Yeah, so I feel like once y'all have this uh, conversation, a whole bunch of secrets of how you guys are really feeling this coming out. All right. So, yeah, it seems like this relationship, you felt like you were ready for it, but then when it came into play, you decided you didn't want it anymore. Here, it makes me feel like you was trying to... Um, Build your life back other than after a breakup or something or just after some kind of crazy separation and and started tried to start off an old relationship new or you tried to jump into a new relationship right after this old one and to build something back but you just wasn't ready okay all right yeah so it, it's the coming to an understanding about what's going on you know it's like okay I was really wanting to be with you, you know, I was ready for this, but, you know, you start acting different, and it's not what I want, okay, so this is like, I don't know, you was trying to recover the feelings from, um, a past relationship, and, and, and it's, it's just not here, all right, so we got the nice swords first, I'll read these straight out the book, so, let me find the Knight of Swords. All right, where are they? All right, the Knight of Swords. You might be uh, dealing with a, a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it's a general reading. It could be anything, all right? But the Knight of Swords reverse says... Mm. Oh, sorry, I'd say reverse. It's not reverse. Uh, people may fight over some issue. The fight may occur quickly. The it, real issue is loss. Sometimes indicates a young man who may help in this situation. So I feel like right now you guys might be arguing over stuff. And in the reality of it is just you just don't want to be together anymore. You know? Instead of talking about what y'all need to do to fix the relationship, y'all end up arguing about dishes or something. All right. So we have the tower reversed. And that says evilness and a strong force. So it seems like these arguments are pretty nasty. And it's a bunch of ignoring going on. So that's that. You know, you ask this person a question about what's going on in the relationship. They ignore you. And then that's when um, you get nasty or they get nasty to ignore you. Like you saying stuff and that's when the dishes and uh, socks on the floor come out, you know. All right. So now we got the two of cups. And it says... Uh, this is a card of union. Two people coming together at a time of understanding between the two. So it's like, yeah, you agree to disagree, you know? So it's like y'all coming to the conclusion that, you know, this is just not going to work. All right, then we got the four swords. It says, can indicate lack of sleep, can show need for a time away from negative situations, possible illness. This makes me feel like this... Um, this relationship and the thoughts of the last relationship are really um, making you feel sick. It's making your body feel sick or maybe you could possibly be sick but it's because of the lack of sleep and the stress that's going on you in this new relationship. They're not treating you like you want to be treated and then you're still thinking about the old one because it wasn't that long ago, you know? So, but that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you're on a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. Other than that, have a great week.